Hi, I want to share with you how to connect uh, the latest receiver of FlySky and ANT, ANT protocol with uh, flight controller using IBUS. Uh, this is not so obvious. Uh, this receiver is very small. Uh, you can buy it uh, on AliExpress, let's say, for about 30 bucks. But you can also buy it, for example, in uh, eBay for half of that price. Uh, it is about $16. Uh, the range of this uh, receiver is very good for such a small uh, piece uh, because its uh, distance is over 800 meters in open areas and uh, it is really very very small I will show you in a second so this is the FS SR8C receiver really really small as you can see uh, as I told you it works in ANT protocol and and this is the previous uh, receiver I used uh, from FlySky as you can see, it's uh, very much bigger than the previous one. This work in the previous protocol. Uh, this means AFHDS2A. Uh, the new receiver has also the possibility to measure the voltage of a battery. You have to connect this cable to the plus of the battery and uh, you have to connect it uh, to BVD output uh, so you can measure the exact uh, voltage of the battery. Now I want to show you uh, what it's written in the manual according to this uh, receiver. And to tell the truth, it is very confusing when you want to uh, connect it via IBUS uh, protocol because it is said nothing here about the IBUS. Uh, in a very small font, you can read something about IBUS here. And it is said when it is necessary to use IBUS sensors or extended channels through IBUS uh, bus, weld the signal wire to the uh, reversed position in the receiver 10. So it means to the one in the middle, exactly this one in the middle, sense. And uh, I tried to solder it this way but it is wrong, it does not work. So be aware that you have to solder it to the servo pin. The output to IBUS, you have to solder to the servo pin, not to the sense pin, otherwise it will not work for you. And of course, plus and minus as it is shown here or in the manual instruction. So uh, to the second pin there is plus and to the third pin there is minus. You can also solder it to those two pins, plus, minus, and also to this side. But I would rather say this is rather complicated. There are many pins, you can make a shortcut and it's much easier to solder it here. You can solder it directly with a cable, with cables to the flight controller, to plus, minus and uh, RX pin. Uh, but I have uh, already soldered uh, it uh, in my uh, Cinebot 30 by GPRC. Uh, so I have this uh, pin soldered here, so I just used uh, another uh, plug here uh, and uh, that's easier for me. But you can do it directly, you can solder it directly 
to the flight controller without any plugs. Okay. Of course, because before putting uh, the receiver inside the drone, you have to put it in a, a thermal shrink uh, sleeve, uh, just not to make a shortcut, and then you can uh, connect it to the drone. Uh, now, when you want to bind bind the uh, receiver and the uh, transmitter, the radio. Uh, in my case, this is uh, the FlySky. ST8, uh, the latest radio of uh, FlySky with ANT protocol, ANT protocol. So uh, first you have to turn on the radio. Okay. And then you go to uh, the RX uh, settings. And here you have uh, the bind settings. Uh, but before that, doing that, it's, uh, they say it is very important to make the calibration of the sticks. So you have to put it in the middle here. Okay. And make start. Okay. And now just move around all the sticks. Push OK, and then we go again uh, to RX settings. Uh, when you want to use uh, the iBus and uh, this kind of, res of receiver, you have to be sure that you have PWM iBus here, because there is also another option, uh, PPM iBus. It will not work uh, with uh, this uh, receiver and this radio. So PWM iBus, then you push start and we uh, connect uh, the cable to computer or battery, whatever you want. I will not connect the battery because I have uh, the propellers on and uh, better don't uh, turn uh, power if you have uh, propellers on, you should always take them away. So I would just push it. And as you can see, it blinks very fast and it's already bumped. You don't have to push any button here. There are no buttons to uh, push it, to bind it. Okay, so now it's bound. Uh, we will find out uh, what is uh, if it's working, what is going on uh, in beta flight. Uh, so we exit from this. As you can see, it is bound. We can see the RX voltage. Now it's of course the plug of uh, from from the computer from USB, not the battery. Okay. So so now we connect the drone to Betaflight. Okay, and we go to receiver tab, and uh, you can see that uh, when I am moving. Uh, the sticks or uh, the knobs, everything is working, yes? And that's it. Of course, after that you have to, uh, to set all uh, the settings according to switches. And uh, you know that from, from your other uh, firmware experience or other firms, okay. That's it guys, as you can see, the receiver is bound and everything is working correctly. Have a nice flight, bye.